this? Chill. Yeah, it's for the feeds. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got the engine obviously up. It's a little sketchy. We want to start getting this done. So I was going to time lapse it for you guys, but you know what? I can't because my GoPro is just pissing me off. I don't know. It's not wanting to charge. Maybe I had a bad charger, so whatever. Um, just quick little little view of it. Sorry, guys. I think time lapsing things like this are fucking super cool, but unfortunately, we're just gonna have to see it for what it is, right, Levi? Right. 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 And plus, it's just us two, anyways. So, all right, I'm gonna put this on the charger so we can go over things once we get it buttoned up. Hopefully, with no flaws. Wish us luck. Attempt one didn't work out, and I'm gonna just explain to you why attempt one didn't work out, because it's a simple and avoidable thing that, you know, unfortunately I just wasn't calculating in my estimate of where to mount it. I was just thinking, all right, put one here, one here, whatever. So basically, and also I need to get a better crane one day, but for now this is what I got, but this was getting in the way right here. We maxed out on our push. So we got as close as we could. Got these paint protectors, keeping it crispy, you know. So we were pushing, we got maxed out. We realized there was nothing we could do about it. We tried maybe just kind of pushing it with hands. Nah, not enough play. And we were literally like just an inch off too. Not even that much. So now what we got to do, Levi, right? What are mm -hmm. we doing? Readjusting the... Yeah, these. Oh, so right. this one is already good, but now we need this one a little closer over here. And it's these back ones. We got to move these up more over here. So that way we can just have a little bit more extension. Just enough. Literally. That far away. But now I'll be able to time lapse it, and maybe it'll be a fun little time lapse. So let's get it. Okay, check it out. It's in there. Levi, you want to grab that impact real quick? We should just impact these motor mounts down all the way now. I just realized that since it's not, yeah, thank you. Here, get a good shot of it. Do this thing. Yeah, it probably fit right here. Nah, I gotta go like this. All right, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's the shot. Oh, let's loosen it up too a little bit. That might help. I don't want to put too much tension on it. Oh, yeah. There it goes. That's it. Try that again. Make sure this is actually all the way tight. Can I get it on this? Kind of a weird angle. I gotta get the rules. 
it. She's in. You know those bolts need to come out of the thing and then good. everything up and starting it up and then the season one of the 190e build is done what will be next you ask who knows i got a hell of a lot on my plate plenty of cars to work on but for the 190e as far as that goes we gotta get probably some wheels eventually but more importantly we need to get some kind of suspension figured out it'd be nice to maybe go all in and get the air ride on this car or Maybe I'll just get a set of coil lovers, but if I do, I'm definitely getting top notch. I ain't going cheap, that's for sure. So stay tuned for me to figure out what I'm going to be doing. Fresh headlights and probably some stereo. Got to put the interior back up. Like I said, there's still some things. Probably maybe one or two more episodes, but that's a wrap for tonight. We're just going to take the rest of this off and barbecue. So, peace out. You See you next time. Yo, hold on, Pro doing product review over here, Harbor Freight Jump Pack, yeah, why, is that thing really that crazy, uh, get on there, alright, let's power it on, and let's see what happens. to the Mercedes let's see where do we leave off I think last we were talking about the belt got a nice intention won't come off of these pulleys which honestly pretty easy to do it wasn't really that hard all right starters in there <clears throat> so I got the starter in there but I gotta dig out the wires for it and then wiring things up but one more piece of the puzzle it's looking pretty good oh yeah we did a little uh what do you call that hydro dip in or whatever tried it out kind of cool i like it been spraying all the electronics with this stuff all the connectors little crc electronic cleaner just hitting them up real quick before I plug them back in I recommend you do that too <laughs> <laughs> 